Choke Industries is celebrating the Indians choking a 3 to 1 lead in the World Series. Buy a shirt today over at 3 to 1 lead.com. Welcome back to another rebuilding video and welcome back to the channel. It's been like two weeks. Listen, man, real life was kicking me in the ass. Like, listen, man, my schedule was super busy and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to try to force out unentertaining videos for you guys, which is pretty much what would have happened. But we are back here today rebuilding the Phoenix Suns and one player that I'm definitely excited about for this upcoming season is Mr. Devin Booker. He dropped like 38 points two nights in a row. Absolutely insane. He is definitely untouchable on this team. But I mean, other than that, everyone else is open to be traded, especially Tyson Chandler. In the first trade of today's video, I will be sending Brandon Knight and Jared Dudley to the Cleveland Cavaliers for Kevin Love and J.R. Smith. Now, with me doing this trade, we do get uh, my, my starting power forward for the season with Kevin Love, but I don't really know if I want to keep him on the team. Now, two players that I would like to get rid of, Alex Len and Tyson Chandler. Yo, Thunder, give me something good. Okay, they're not going to give me uh, Steven Adams, which I would definitely like. Boban, I could go ahead and get him. I could pull the trigger and get Boban. Uh, Cody Zeller, not that bad of an option, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get Steven Adams, not uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, I'm going to see if I, if I can get Steven Adams away from the Thunder. What if I included next year's first round pick and... The Heat's top five protected, and welcome Steven Adams and Andre Roberson to the Phoenix Suns. So I do need a backup power forward on the team, so I will be getting Willie Cauley-Stein and Costa Kufos, and then basically changing Willie Cauley-Stein to the power forward position, because I do believe that his uh, overall goes up when you move his position. So let's just see real quick if that works. Move him to power forward, and I mean, hey, he goes up by one overall point. I will definitely take that. I am done making trades here in season number one. This is what our team is looking like. We got Eric Bledsoe, Devin Booker, TJ Warren, Kevin Love, and Steven Adams. Off of the bench, we got J.R. Smith, P.J. Tucker, Costa Kufos, Willie Cauley-Stein, and Dragon Bender, and Marquise Chris. So 11-man rotation. I, I, I mean, I don't really know how to feel about the last four spots going to two centers and two power forwards. But, I mean, I kind of want to suck this year anyway, so I kind of don't care. And at the end of season number one, Steph Curry makes it three MVP awards in a row. Absolutely insane, but something that obviously is not going to be happening in real life. Ben Simmons wins the Rookie of the Year award. Brandon Jennings wins six man. DeAndre Jordan wins Defensive Player of the Year, averaging 14 and a half rebounds with three blocks per game. Mario Hazonia wins the Most Approved Player, and the Coach of the Year goes to Steve Kerr as the Warriors go 70 and 12, getting up for first in the Western Conference. And surprisingly, we actually made the playoffs at the end of season one. We are the sixth best team in the Western Conference, and we are taking on the Portland Trailblazers, but let me just show you guys the standings, and we were actually really, really close to being the fourth seed in the West. Uh, we actually beat the Thunder by, like, 15 points, uh, if I can find it real quick. Uh, yeah, we beat them by 15 points in the third to last game of the year, and then only lost to the Warriors by seven points, and Bledsoe drops 40. So, I am very confident going into this matchup against the Portland Trailblazers, but they went 59-23. So we're most likely not going to beat them. Game one, we are on the road in Portland, and we end up losing by three. Okay, we tied up at one apiece. They win game three. They'll probably win game four, and don't pull the Warriors and choke the 3-1 lead. And the Phoenix Suns have been eliminated. But, like, I wasn't expecting to do well this year, and we ended up making the playoffs. And the Warriors end up winning the NBA championship against the Chicago Bulls. Steph wins the finals MVP really no surprise there let's see who these retired players are real quick Paul Pierce Jason Terry Metal Peace who loves basketball Mike Miller uh, I mean really no one too crazy that uh, retired basically the usual suspects end up retiring all right big trade right here if I can get this to go down Eric Bledsoe and our 2019 first round pick 
for D'Angelo Russell and the Lakers are not looking to take it what if I gave them three first round picks and Eric Bledsoe and the Lakers accept the trade offer welcome D'Angelo Russell to the Phoenix Suns yo hold on hold on uh, 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 okay so I can't do the coaching but like D'Angelo Russell Devin Booker like that is a really nice one-two punch I really want a better small forward in free agency. I wouldn't mind trading Kevin Love. Uh, I have to bring back Steven Adams, but I mean, this team is looking really nice so far. All right, so hear me out on this trade before you guys start roasting me in the comments section. All right, so Willie Collins Stein, Kevin Love, and VJ Beecham, we did get him in the NBA draft because right now I am after the draft. Like, that's the only way how I could trade for D'Angelo Russell. Now, my thought process here is let's clear up some cap. And let's not worry about the point guard position on my team for the next like two seasons and save a ton of salary cap. Now, obviously, Pekovic won't be staying on the team because I don't like him at all and he's overpaid and we have three centers and I just really don't want him on the team. So let's do Pekovic and Costa Kufos. If I could just get like a first round pick out of this, like that would be really nice. I doubt it though. John Henson and Miles Plumley, no thanks. Cole Aldrich is not that bad of a trade. Boban, I, okay, I mean, all right, you know, Boban's there. I'm probably going to end up taking that deal because, you know, it's Boban, and I, and I haven't gotten Boban in a while. Welcome, Boban Marjanovic and Aaron Baines to the Phoenix Suns. All right, so I have struck out on signing every single big-name free agent, and this is really the only person I can get. Steven Adams, we're going to match the uh, offer sheet from I, I don't even know what team, but welcome back, Steven Adams. I tried to get Millsap. He goes to the Sixers. I have literally struck out on every single big name free agent, and I'm very disappointed with it. I mean, I'll get Iggy, and then I'll just end up trading him, knowing me. Um, a power forward would be nice, considering I don't have one other than Marquise Chris, and like, no thank you, really. Um, real quick, though, I'm going to see what Dragon Bender's position is like at power forward. I mean, I, I mean, he goes up one overall point so i think i'm gonna move him to power forward and deal with that because we have steven adams and uh bobon at the center position so there we go with that um i don't really like my small forward position i mean i like tj warren but i kind of want someone better so i hope iggy signs with us i really hope he does iggy Please sign with us. I have struck out on every single free agent. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you very much. And also, um, just to put this out there, um, if we go over to the uh, Los Angeles Clippers, uh, yeah, they got a big four. Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. I can't win, man. Like, this is going to be so difficult. And I will also be getting Victor Oladipo onto the team because... I need a starting or backup shooting guard because right now I only have two shooting guards and the backup shooting guard is like a 67 overall. So welcome Victor Oladipo to the team and uh, while I'm at it, I have no bird rights on anyone and uh, I'm really satisfied with the team to be honest. Like, obviously we could be a whole lot better, but we're not awful. We are crazy young, but like look at the potential on our team though like okay well Iggy's an A minus that doesn't really matter but like Devin Booker I'm gonna put him through the training game he's gonna go up to a B plus same with D'Angelo Russell same with Chris Dunn same with Victor Oladipo and then same with Steven Adams so I'm definitely excited for this team in season two let's just hope that we don't have to go up against the Los Angeles Clippers Huge trade right here to start off season number two. Trading away Dragon Bender, Marquise Chris, and our 2019 first round pick from the Golden State Warriors. Basically, I think I traded uh, Pegovic to the Warriors for that pick, or Kufos or someone. I don't know. I traded him to the Warriors for that pick for Jaleel Okafor and Dario Saric. Now, you're probably saying, you don't need Jaleel Okafor, but do I, though? Okay, like, think about it. You move Jaleel... Jaleel Okafor to the four and then like life is good like look at this look at this moving to the four He goes up two overall points and also we have a uh, Dario Saric who is a beast 85 open shot three 81 uh, open shot mid like this team is crazy young this team is deadly We have a nice big four right here, but I also would like a better starting small four like no offense Iggy But you're probably not gonna get the job done Another big trade right here, trading away Andre Iguodala and TJ Warren to the Detroit Pistons for Stanley Johnson and Tobias Harris. Now, Tobias Harris, I'm not really too happy with, like, having you on the team, so 
we're just gonna see what I can get for you and that's like a lot of money like no thank you but if I can get maybe a better backup small forward I will be happy uh, Kyle Anderson that's actually not that bad because he's gonna progress pretty well and I'm pretty sure he's a good defender pretty sure he is okay I thought he was a little bit of a, a better defender than that but you know what it's all good uh small forwards really there's no one here like Harrison Barnes yes but I don't know like I'm just not yo 86 open shot three yo that's actually really uh impressive uh what's your defense though real quick 76 on ball defensive IQ and then we go down here 69 uh I mean I might go ahead and take that deal for uh, Harrison Barnes. I might go ahead and do it. Jay Crowder. I like that trade a lot. I really do. I, re I really like this Jay Crowder trade, man. So I decided on this trade. Tobias Harris, Omer Caspi, and Tyler Eulis for Harrison Barnes, Justin Anderson, and AJ Hammonds. Welcome Harrison Barnes to the Phoenix Suns. This team is looking so freaking good. Nice, man. I am done making trades. This is what our starting starting lineup and our starting rotation is looking like at the end of, well, at the start of season number two. We got D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Harrison Barnes, Jaleel Okafor, and Steven Adams. Off of the bench, we got Chris Dunn, Victor Oladipo, Stanley Johnson, Dario Saric, and Boban Marjanovic. This team is looking so nice. I am so pumped for season number two. At the end of season number two, Kevin Durant does end up winning the MVP award as a member of the Los Angeles Clippers. And yes, they did finish with the best record in the Western Conference this season. I have no idea who this is, but he wins Rookie of the Year. He's from Belgium. Point guard, he is on the Heat. He wins the Rookie of the Year. Cameron Payne wins six man. LeBron wins the Defensive Player of the Year. Cameron Payne also wins Most Approved Player. And like I said, the Clippers do end up winning well, they do end up getting the best record in the Western Conference as their coach, Jock Vaughn, wins the coach of the year. In round number one, we are taking on the Houston Rockets. And look at this. Look at this. James Harden, broken right leg. They stand no chance against us. They really don't. We finished with the second best record in the Western Conference, 59 and 23. And we really should sweep the Houston Rockets because they don't have James Harden. And, okay, they won a game. Makes no sense whatsoever. But we will win this series in five games because we are just that much better than them. And, like, I mean, just, like, look at that. We end up winning by 27. Let's do this. We're taking on the Golden State Warriors, the reigning NBA champions. But they did lose Kevin Durant, so that's kind of good. Um, where are they at? Steph, strain left, MCL. I don't know if he's going to play, but if he does, he's only an 81 overall. Draymond, Klay Thompson, looking good. But, I mean, their bench is good, but it's not really all that great. Mo Harkless, 68 overall. He is out one to two weeks with a high ankle sprain. Game one goes to us. Can we win game two? No, we can't. All right. It's fine. As long as, as, long as we win game three, I'm fine. And we are up three games to one, and we just advanced to the Western Conference finals done. okay there we go there we go we end up winning in six games steph drops 41 in game six but it is not enough as jaleel looking for drops 25 points for us and now we're taking on the new super team in the nba the los angeles clippers but chris paul's out for the year chris paul's out for the year but still like this team is pretty freaking scary the winner of this series takes on either the Cleveland Cavaliers or the seventh seeded Philadelphia 76ers. I really don't know who's going to win this series, but we win game one by 25 points. We win game two and game three. Let's sweep them. Let's go. We sweep the Los Angeles Clippers, I guess. I mean, I guess Chris Paul makes that much of an impact. And now we are taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers here in season number two in the NBA Finals. They do not have Kevin Love. We traded for him, and then we traded him away. I don't even remember where I traded him, to be honest. Like, I really have no clue where I traded him. I think it may be to the Lakers. No, that was Bledsoe. I, I mean, I really don't know. It really doesn't even matter. Let's see if we can beat the Cleveland Cavaliers here in the finals. We win game one by 10. They win game two by seven. We're up 2-1. We're up three games to one. Let's not pull a Golden State Warriors and choke this lead. We are at home for game five. Life is looking pretty good. We just got to win this game 
and we will be NBA champions. Like, obviously. And it, it, you know what? Oh, man, it's good. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, I think it is good. We're good, man. We are 100% good. The Phoenix Suns are going to win the NBA championship. We are up 110 to 88. Oh, my goodness. And as you guys saw, D'Angelo Russell does end up winning the Finals MVP award, almost averaging a double-double with points and assists. And he also uh, contributed three steals on, uh, well, in the series. This was honestly one of the better teams that I have ever built. Whether it's 2K14, 15, 16, 17, like, this was definitely one of my better teams. Dirk ends up retiring. He had a torn right ACL. And here is the championship roster led by D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Jaleel Okafor, Steven Adams, Chris Dunn, Victor Oladipo, Stanley Johnson, Harrison Barnes, Dario Saric, Boban Marjanovic, the 7'4 beast out of Serbia. We have Justin Anderson, AJ Hammonds, and the GOAT, John Jenkins. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Tomorrow's video will be rebuilding the Chicago Bulls, so make sure to leave a like if you guys are excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.